Okay, welcome to day three of our flipped classroom. Tonight we're going to ask ourselves the question and see if we can prove it. Can rectangles have the same perimeter but different areas? So I want you to take a few seconds and think about that. Can you think of a situation where a rectangle would have the same perimeter as another rectangle but the areas are different? And let's see if we can prove this question right or wrong. Before we do that, again, let's just refresh our memories. Area is the measurement of the space inside a shape, the whole surface that fills up a shape. And we use multiplication to solve area. Perimeter is the measurement of the distance around the shape. And remember the rim, the outside edge, and we use addition to solve perimeter problems. All right, so let's see if we can answer that question. Can rectangles have the same perimeter but different areas? So to do that, I have three rectangles here for you that we're gonna compare. We have rectangle A, rectangle B, and rectangle C. So let's go ahead and fill in the information that we know in the chart, and that will help us answer the question. Um, can rectangles have the same perimeter but different areas? So rectangle A has a length of three inches and a width of three inches and you know that a formula for perimeter is perimeter equals two times length times width so or excuse me not two times length times width two times length plus width so in this case, length plus width, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 times 2 is 12. So rectangle A has a perimeter of 12 inches. Okay, but area, we know, area equals length times width. So using rectangle A as my example, length is 3, width is 3, length times width would be nine inches squared. Okay, let's take a look at rectangle B. Rectangle B has a length of four and a width of two. And using my formula, perimeter equals two times length plus width length plus width is 4 plus 2 which is 6 and 2 times 6 is 12 inches and area equals length times width so length is 4 width is 2 area equals 4 times 2 which would be 8 inches squared and looking at rectangle C Rectangle C has a length of one and a width of five. So perimeter equals two times length plus width. Length plus width is six. Two times six is 12. And area equals length times width. So length times width is one times five. My area of this rectangle would be five inches squared. So by comparing rectangle A, rectangle B, and rectangle C, and charting my information, we can see that the perimeters are the same, but the areas are different. So we have answered our question. We proved that rectangles that have the same perimeter can have different areas. All right, guys, for your lesson wrap up, please take the same perimeter different area quiz on Edmodo to check your understanding. Post any questions you still have in the reply section of the video or direct message me and we will review your questions tomorrow. Have a great night. I'll see you in the morning.